I'm in my guest rooms and we're gonna get try out the Logitech K830 multimedia keyboard. It looks dark right now, but as soon as you stimulate it, it will light up, which is a cool feature. It lights up just the right the, the right amount, uh, and uh, yeah, I haven't uh, have many much experience with this. We're gonna try it out. Uh, I wanna do this all uh, first hand, first try. This is my first experience with this keyboard. I know it's cool because I I used it before, but never all the functions. But uh, we'll we'll learn together what it can and cannot do. And uh, it's uh, being used on uh, the Nvidia Shield. I don't have this as a top product because uh, it's a closed system. The applications you can install on the NVIDIA Shield is limited. That's why I can't recommend this, the NVIDIA Shield. But uh, yeah, it's probably the best Android box there is. Uh, Performance wise. And uh, let's see what uh, this keyboard can do. Uh, here we got uh, the bad thing with this keyboard is, and with any keyboard, is uh, that the secondary functions are written in a, a color that's uh, not suitable for dark, for, uh, yeah, uh, little light where there's uh, not enough light and uh, in this case the colors are written in red so they're hard to see uh, yeah, I don't know why manufacturers uh, don't take in that into consideration and uh, it's unfortunate but We'll try as best as we can. Here we'll uh, let's try out some Android bu native buttons like uh, the home button. Then there's the app selection button. Oh, let's see if that works or is what uh, that yeah app selection. Okay, so it takes you to the next app, and if you press it twice, it takes you to all the other. I lit the list of apps where you can choose I, I assume or you have to keep it pressed then use the use the arrow buttons I suppose that's how it's supposed to work what's going on okay use the arrow buttons maybe up and down buttons Uh, okay, what gives, so uh, I press this and uh, let's try pressing it more than once, nothing's happening, oh, that's a, oops, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, Give this another try. Okay, that's the menu button. Okay. There's a menu button, which is nice. Since uh, I'm sure the, let's see if the right click works. Same as menu. No. So uh, the menu button is useful. Okay, cool. Now uh, I can't get this app selection button to make sense to me or oh, maybe oh yeah yeah this this use the cursor the mouse cursor yeah okay amazon amazon video yeah okay cool so we got that mystery solved and then there's the back button this one okay uh, 
uh, where is that supposed to take us? Okay, so it takes us all the way. Let's go try Netflix and uh, see where. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. I thought I clicked you. Okay. Uh, again, this is a high performance box. It's uh, the most powerful NVIDIA box there is. Okay, enter, not click, I, I suppose. And it's got a nice touchpad. This keyboard is cool. And uh, where's the sound? So let's uh, first let you have to turn the TV volume up. If, uh, okay. The thing only works from there behind the keyboard. Now we got the volume up. Let's try a movie. The office or a show. Okay, not clicking. What gives not clicking? So uh, maybe the okay the arrow keys work, but I don't know why it, it's like it's not a keyboard uh, issue here. It's a system issue. The Android. This is the nature the Android works. It's not designed to work in the same way as a desk personal computer. It's not designed for mouse mouse uh, sis and uh, yeah. So click is it uh, utilized much? Okay, I tried to click, but so those with personal PC experience will not have intuitive use. Uh, okay, so. And the sound is still off for some reason, so we'll try these sound buttons. The mute, okay, cool, it worked. And uh, that's the mute on, mute off button. And uh, to increase the sound, decrease the sound. Nice. Now, uh, okay. Things going at the, the office, oh, okay. one of uh, the so, shows I really liked, the for when it uh, was in its prime. Uh, you now, uh, let's see what the menu button gives us. Yes, hello. Uh, nothing in net the Netflix app, apparently. What about the right-click button? Yeah, same. No effect. Okay, let's go, go back to home. It's this button, home. Boom. Okay. And uh, let's try this. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, there's a light button here. Let's see what it does. Okay, it makes it lighter. Yeah, there's three levels of... Or... Lighting, no lighting at all. Uh, reduced lighting and max uh, and the uh, full lighting. Okay, medium lighting, maximum lighting, no lighting. Understood. And uh, then there's this search button. Okay, let's go try the Netflix again. We'll do this app list button. Well, we got YouTube, but no thank you. Uh, okay. Where did the uh, Netflix go? Where did the Netflix go? Well, I don't know. Well, uh, uh, let's just select it from the home. 
okay uh, yeah, yeah i clicked you already netflix i clicked uh, come on yeah. okay so double click done worked double click double click that's true use the button no damn uh, i like to use the mouse clicks so it resumed and we're gonna try the search button from an app let's see what it does search search or oh, now you can talk so it's right in for me this is a feature of uh, the nvidia okay let's uh, let's do that and uh, let's say let's ask it to play some music for us uh play see ya on Spotify. What? Oh, I thought that was Google Home there for a second. Yeah, okay, so that's what that does. It's a, it's a feature of Google. I thought it was a feature of NVIDIA. It's the same uh, voice of the Google Home. Okay, so I go back to home and stop that singing and uh, Now let's uh, What's this beside the search button? I don't know There's an arrow in a box and The arrows in the corner. I don't know what that means Yeah, nothing's happening, but uh, what if uh, we go into a, a previous app okay yeah this one let's see if it does anything yeah no what about the netflix app where's how about youtube yeah youtube youtube that's it let's see what it does this button make some new merch designs do you like them? I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I think you buy them. Hey, friends, who seriously? Live in what do you think of Canada? Okay. Now, uh, what's uh, now? There's this button here, and this I don't have any idea what it is for. It's also, it's not having any effect. Zero effect whatsoever. Let's go back to the YouTube app. Designs. Okay, like nothing. I don't, know. I think they're pretty cool. I don't know what that button. How about the music button? There's a music button. It's uh, no. What? Uh, let's do this next track button. That works uh, to skip. Uh, I don't know how many seconds. Alright, before anything okay. else, I made a video and... Oh, are we skipping videos? Oh, We're skipping at... videos. You may or may not have picked up on this Things video. that freak yeah, me out. And sure. then we now are oh, in Things on, That Freak Me Out so Part hard. 2. Let's start off being honest. Like my I random know. thoughts. I have no idea what this video is. I just had a random idea yeah. in my head. Hopefully that doesn't describe my video. Uh, so uh, we got those uh, normal uh, multimedia keys, all uh, to it. Yeah, pause and play, all demonstrated. And uh, then there's these editing keys, insert, delete, and... Uh, we got some keys that are a mystery, remain a mystery, like this uh, music uh, sign button. I don't know what that is about. So, it's up and down. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
So, and uh, there's the secondary functions. You press this function key and uh, then the function and there's the F buttons, F1, F2, F3. Let's get close because I can't see those. Yeah, they're, they're impossible to see these but the secondary functions in the dark. And uh, let's see if there's any special one. There's on and off. Let's try that. Let's see if that works with the NVIDIA Shield. This one, the secondary button. So secondary function, uh, oh wait, no way it worked, didn't want it to work, but cool, let's see if we can turn it on, yeah, yeah, it can't, it can turn off, but not on, we have to use the NVIDIA, what, did it turn on? Maybe it turned on. Uh, okay, remind me later for the update. Well, let's try this again. So, uh, let's try something else. There's a Bluetooth on and Bluetooth off button. Let's see if it works. Oh, I, I think uh, the might be for the keyboard okay we lost signal so it's not a good idea to press that button what gives signal is gone not coming back Let's turn it on and off. Really? Okay, it's back online now. And uh, yeah, see, uh, I'm not sure if there's any more of these secondary function that other than the top row of on the top row of buttons I can't see any there's the home page and those are secondary function buttons yeah and that's pretty much it and uh, other than that, I don't see any particular unique keys here. I think uh, we covered practically everything. Let's see what's this on the back button. Let's try that out. Oh, secondary function on the back button. What? Took a picture of the screen. Cool. Nice, so it's the print screen button. What about this secondary function on the caps button? It's, it looks like the triangle with the arrow in it. So I don't think that does anything. But uh, yeah, and uh, there you have it. That's the Logitech K83 keyboard, K830. And uh, there's this mouse button. I, I'm not sure what that is for. Let's press it. I don't know what that did. And that's it. There you have it. There's no more buttons on the sides. Okay. 
and uh, yeah it's a very excellent keyboard I definitely recommend it for these uh, bo TV boxes to where for multimedia and watching uh, internet content it's uh, definitely worth it or even a regular computer but uh, probably more appropriate another keyboard for a, a regular PC and uh, yeah hope you learned something thanks for watching